Hello, it's Deanie, and I have a dilemma. I want to buy more books, and I'm running out of space. Actually, I have plenty of dilemmas because I'm a book nerd, and that's why I'm doing the Dilemmas of a Book Nerd tag, which was originally created by Lindsay's Little Library, and I was tagged by Pints and Paperbacks. Both of their links will be down below. So let's kick it off with the first and probably biggest dilemma I have, which is Dilemma 1, Book Storage. How do you store and organize your books? So I live in a decently small apartment where shelf space is limited and I only in the past few months got a decent shelf that can actually hold the weight of the books I own. Before my main organization was just stacking books in random places, but now I'm going to show you and do like the quickest shelf tour like of all time how I store and organize my books. Here's the bottom shelf of my main bookshelf and it holds primarily my fantasy books. It also holds Fallout official guys because obviously I like Fallout. Then here is my manga shelf. It is primarily my boyfriend's books, but I will eventually read the most likely. Here we have my sci-fi and graphic novel shelf. It includes almost a complete set of my saga pops. This shelf only contains four books because I mainly use it for my tchotchkes. And then the top shelf of my main shelf contains my favorite authors, Libba Bray and Lee Bardugo, and then also V.E. Schwab because I have a lot of her books, and then other little fantasy books that couldn't fit on the bottom shelf. Then I also store some books in the two little kind of cubby shelves that I have under my TV. Also includes Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Legend of Korra DVDs because um they're awesome. Then I have two floating bookshelves, one with Kendara Blake's Three Dark Crowns series complete with some Twin Peaks pops, and then a Rainbow Rowl floating shelf complete with Harry Potter pops. I also have one more shelf, but it is not pictured because it's a mess and it's in the bedroom where no one has to see it. Also, as you can see from the picture quality, you can see why I'm not a bookstagrammer. Now dilemma two, tracking. How do you keep track of what you have read and what books you own? I have a personal Goodreads account, which is what I use to track my books. And since I don't own too many books, I pretty much know where my books that I have not read yet are because they're just mixed in with everything. I don't have a se separate shelf for those. Now the third dilemma, borrow. Do you lend your books out? And that's a nope. I don't, mainly because I don't know many people in real life who'd ever want any of the books I read. Plus I know for myself there was one time I borrowed a book from a friend and it took me months to get it back to her because we just didn't see each other. We were busy. And I don't want that to happen with one of my books. Dilemma number four, buying. How do you buy or acquire your books? I do multiple ways. I do Amazon if it's significantly cheaper on Amazon as compared to like in a store because there I've seen books where it's like 30 bucks in store and then it's 15 on Amazon I'm like I'm sorry I'm gonna save the 15 bucks and just shell it out to Amazon I also do Barnes and Nobles we have a local bookstore that will occasionally go to book depository if I really like the UK cover better than the American cover and then also I use the library for all my audiobooks pretty much. I used to do Audible, but then I started getting more into audiobooks and I wanted to just listen to sometimes more than one a month. So it was better to just do that through the library. The fifth dilemma. Yeah, I can't sing. Comments. How do you respond to the how do you read so much comment or similar comments? I literally don't think I've gotten that comment before. No one cares about my reading habits. Dilemma number six. Next book, how do you pick up your next read? So I'm a mood reader and I usually just kind of like pace around my shelves looking at the books that I haven't read yet until I get overwhelmed and just like pick it up and go, do I want to read this? Maybe put it back. Pick up another book. Do I want to read this? Eh, put it back. And then I just get overwhelmed and then I eventually just pick something until I just pick it up and go, okay, fine, we'll read this. I also do that really bad when I'm looking at my library's audiobooks because there's so many that I want to listen to and my wish list for my library is at like 200 some books now. So that that's mainly very overwhelming. Dilemma lucky number seven. Travel. How do you pick up what books you bring on vacation with you? I don't bring physical books on vacation. Also, I don't really go on vacation. So if I were to go on vacation, it would primarily just be audiobooks from my library. D-I-L-E-M-M-A-8. Annotate. Do you write or highlight or mark up your books in any way? And I don't. I used to in high school for required reading books because I had to go back and search up specific quotes or we had to be like, on this page, this paragraph means this because we had to critically review everything and make everything into something that it probably wasn't. 
But yeah, no more. I didn't like doing it then and don't have an interest to do it now. Number nine, number nine, dilemma number nine. New or backlist? Which do you prefer, new releases or backlist books? And I do both. If it's something that I'm really interested in and it's a new release, I'll usually buy it, especially if it's from an author that I really like, but I also will go and buy backlist books or, you know, get them from my library or whatever. Let slam dunk dilemma number 10. Sequels. Do you read books as they are released or wait for an entire series to be published before reading one book? I definitely do not wait. There's multiple series that I've been reading through and I'll read them immediately whenever the book comes out and then I'll reread the past books in the series because if I love the series, I don't mind reading it multiple times. I don't even mind waiting for the next book to come out. But I do have this weird habit that if a series is complete, I tend to like to buy the entire series in its whole and then I'll eventually read it. So like I own multiple trilogies that I haven't read yet, but they're completed and I'll eventually read them, but I all I own them all. Just haven't read them yet. So I'm dilemmaed out now and I'll tag the following two people, arts books and other things and Claudia, both linked down below. Unless you don't like doing tags, here's the thing about tags. I'm like, I don't know who to tag because I don't know who actually likes doing tags. It's my weird fear about this thing. So if you don't like doing the tag and I tagged you, I won't hate you, I promise. But don't hate me either. So thank you for watching.